I'm Governor David Ige. I'm running for the office of Governor of the State of Hawaii. My name is Andrea Tupola and I'm running for Governor for the State of Hawaii. We intend to continue our focus on homelessness and housing. The cost of living. It's a complex issue that will not be um, solved in a single term. It's something that we have to make a long-term commitment to. If more families cannot afford to live in Hawaii, then we will have more local families leaving. And this is directly tied to the cost of housing. I think that my community involvement has been something that people have not forgotten. You know, I'm proud of the work that we've done in um, producing housing. I think that homelessness and housing is directly connected. I've held 41 town halls, 14 cleanups, and each one we haul between three and five tons of trash as well as abandoned cars. I've held entrepreneur conferences, an annual emergency preparedness fair, and annual young women prom conferences. I'm proud of the work we've done in education. You know, we had 45 uh, community meetings all across the state put together a new blueprint um, for the public school system really focused on um, empowering schools and recognizing that the one-size-fits-all um, program of the previous administration doesn't work. Juma, oh no, no, no. It was uh, Jurassic World. The last movie I saw uh, was Star Wars. Awesome. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I do believe in the long-term uh, transit is very important to reducing cost of living. We could talk about real tax reform. I believe that early college and our commitment to making uh, access uh, and the cost of higher education more affordable. You know, we could talk about decreasing the or eliminating the GE on food and medicine. You know, I've been working very hard to manage taxpayer dollars in the best way that we can. Working with more local developers who can actually propose smaller housing projects that are producing local jobs. As you know, I'm committed to expanding agriculture, uh, but we also recognize that um, by expanding agriculture and, and being smart about uh, the agricultural pr principles that increase carbon capture, that we can help um, mitigate uh, climate change and sea level rise. I definitely think that we need to think ahead on the erosion that's happening around the edges of the island. And that's not just for our island, that's across the state, especially because we are very prone to hurricanes. We're committed to make uh, the University of Hawaii system net zero uh, in the next five years. And we ha have a plan uh, for our airports to be uh, net zero as well. We need to be proactive and not wait till the last minute or till things become so expensive that we can't address these issues. I'm supporting uh, the CONCON con and voting yes because I think that uh, it would be an opportunity for us to meet as a community and really talk about what uh, changes may be necessary to create the Hawaii that we want in the future. I think that at this point, you know, it's up to the people to decide and I'm excited that people will be able to voice their concern and come out and vote on November 6th. Was there ever a goal for a number of homes to be built for Hawaiian homes? Or have we been going from year to year hoping that something will happen? You know, she keeps talking about cutting taxes and raising teachers' pay. And I really want to know what taxes would she cut and how would she pay for teacher pay raises? I don't have time to read a book <laughs> right now. Oh, it's called Body Awareness by Chad Sato. She um, cares about Hawaii and is enthusiastic in what um, she hopes that she could accomplish as governor. He's a nice guy. <laughs>